Hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. Today we're talking about hair loss treatment and men's health. So the specific story we have is a 20 year old male, so he's only 20, and he came to me explaining that he had hair loss, but he also had a receding hairline. So it's very young to have such a level of receding uh, at that age, but he also said it'd been going on for two years. So, you know, pattern hair thinning shouldn't be happening at that age and it because it had progressed so much in such a short time it told me something else was going on so that's when we go in and we use a microscope and what we want to get what we want to get is a correct diagnosis so we found back here in this terminal area is what they would call the donor site for transplants or it's your genetic hair type his hair had broken down it wasn't growing properly at a cellular level so the physical hair is coming out of the scalp 50% had broken down. Okay, so that's what was the actual underlying cause of the other problems. And what we found checking blood tests, he had really low ferritin. So for a male, his ferritin was really low, but hadn't been medically picked up because you're sufficient, but he also had low vitamin D. So both of these lows will affect the hair cycle. Okay, so you've got this hair cycle growing, resting, falling. So he had experienced physical hair loss and then the levels were so low, he couldn't grow back. So that then allowed him to get what we call early onset pattern hair thinning, meaning he shouldn't be getting it. It was hereditary for him, but at a much older age. So when you notice things happening at a young age, it really is telling you that something is wrong with your health. So don't ignore the signs. So I just wanna talk about male pattern hair loss. It's actually not physical hair loss. So that's another thing to really remember. This pattern hair thinning, miniaturization, DHT, dihydrotestosterone, they call it androgenetic alopecia. It is a hormonal and hereditary type of hair thinning. It's a very, very gradual thinning. So when you've got physical hair loss, it's something else. So that's another key um, to look for. So what we did treatment wise is we worked both with the hair cycle, okay, so getting the hair cycle back on track. We gave him some protection of the pattern hair thinning. The biggest protection I use is topical antioxidants and we use nutrition, okay? So coming in, teaching someone how to eat, get the levels up using the correct supplementation, the health will always win. So I've been practicing for over 25 years and I always find the better health I have of the human, the better result we get with your hair loss and hair growth treatments. Okay, so this was a basic treatment that we used. Um, we said to wash your hair every second day and you can see here my befores and my afters. So that's a very significant improvement with such a simple and affordable treatment. Okay, so there's no need to go for hair growth treatments either. They won't work if the hair cycle's broken down you're not gonna grow hair. So you need to come in and get correct diagnosis. A trichologist is the person that can help you to get true, accurate, and real diagnosis. So I'm here in Brisbane, but I can help you anywhere in the world. So you need to email me. It's info at